What's up, Water Players? It's me, Juanita with the Hua, and you can watch me and the rest of the Water Play gang play the latest games at our new gameplay channel that's What to Play Live, and you can do so by clicking that icon at the top right corner. Today, we're taking you back to 2018's latest quarter by coming at you with the PC's top 15 indie games of the last three months. We are going to be arranging all those games by their play score. The play score is an average of gamer and critic ratings. Number 15, Dayland. A single-player adventure RPG from Chibig. The world is your playground as you take the form of a little prince traveling amongst the stars. Rule over your own planet, make it your home, and transform it into a unique place. It's heavily focused on sandbox elements, making every experience noteworthy and endless. Craft tools, cook food, brew potions, and create items. With over 100 quests and 12 playable characters to choose from, you won't be leaving your little planet anytime soon. It receives a play score of 7.36. Number 14, Overcooked 2. The most stressful party game in the world, Team 17's chaotic cooking action is back with more hair-pulling levels. Travel to the Onion Kingdom and appease the Great Onion King and defeat the Unbred to prevent a culinary catastrophe. With online and local multiplayer, play with up to four people and work your asses out to serve meals, wash dishes, slice potatoes, and so much more. It's a frenzied fun for you and your friends to enjoy and it receives a play score of 7.4. At number 13, Mother Gunship. Protect humanity from a legion of robotic aliens in this bullet hell first person shooter. Face off against overwhelming odds in non stop action. Survive by crafting your very own defense systems and joining the resistance to rise from the ranks. Create the most destructive, if not the most ridiculous looking weapons ever created, and save the planet from extinction. A small indie title with a huge potential, and it receives a play score of 7.41. Number 12, WarTech Fighters, or WTF for short. This mecha-based indie action game is built for intergalactic destruction. Form a team with two of the greatest rebel colonies in the galaxy to battle against the evil Zatro's empire. Combining anime and Hollywood levels of badassery, engage in spectacular action with the Zatronian forces to save your galaxy. Configure, upgrade, and customize your WarTech to its full power. It receives a play score of 7.41. 11. Not Tonight If you're a big fan of 3909's papers, please, then this game might be for you. Set in an alternative Britain where Brexit talks have collapsed, the dystopian government has taken power to round up and exile citizens of European heritage. Play as a bouncer and cross-check individuals passing through every major event. Check citizens' IDs, guest lists, and stop interlopers from ruining the extremist system of government. How long can you last in this new regime? It receives a play score of 7.52. Number 10, Star Control Origins, an indie space RPG from Stardock Entertainment. Similar to Mother Gunship, protect the Earth from a swarm of invading aliens and as captain, you take things at your hands. Commandeer the planet's finest interstellar starship and save humanity. Navigate a living, breathing universe and discover thousands of new worlds. Meet strange aliens and collect the necessary alien tech to prepare yourself for the incoming battle ahead. It's a sci-fi experience that makes you the main character. It receives a play score of 7.53. 9. Frozen Synapse 2 A sequel to the award-winning turn-based tactical strategy indie game from Mode 7, this single-player experience lets you command your own digital army in a vast procedurally generated city. Set up bases, deploy your own forces, and dominate a living system with many AI-controlled factions vying for control. Rob banks, assassinate politicians, or establish a diplomatic accord. The choice is up to you. It receives a play score of 7.65. Did you find anything you like? If you did, then you can use the links in our description box to get these games. At our number 8 spot, Mega Aquarium. If you've ever dreamed of building your own aquarium, this theme park management tycoon game from Twice Circled is your kind of playground. Manage your own staff, design your displays, find the perfect aquatic animal to prioritize, and watch guests jump with excitement and joy. Choose from a wide selection of almost 100 different marine species or research new animals and technology to improve your aquatic haven. Make tough decisions when it comes to maximizing efficiency and minimizing damages. It has a play score of 7.84. 
Seven Donut County. Annapurna Interactive's masterclass in art and video games takes you to a physics-powered indie adventure about a gaping hole. Yeah, you heard that right. Play as BK, an ever-present hole who wants to swallow his friends to earn prizes. Throughout the game, the puzzles keep getting better and BK keeps growing depending on your insatiable gluttony. There's so many things to do as BK. You can combine stuff, catapult objects out of the hole, or devour everything. It has a play score of 7.88. Number 6, The Banner Saga 3. The epic conclusion to the award-winning Viking saga that is six years in the making. Step into a strategic RPG adventure with a strong story and compelling characters. With over 20 awards and four BAFTA nominations, witness a satisfying send-off of these Viking warriors as they survive from the creeping darkness. Just like its predecessors, your decisions matter and the ending is tailored to your choices. So, how will your heroes conclude their adventure? It receives a play score of 7.89. Banking that number 5 spot La Mulana 2, a sequel to Nigoro's indie adventure Metroidvania, Lumisa Kasugi returns as she explores the ancient ruins of La Mulana. Explore sprawling ancient ruins and mind-boggling mysteries as you traverse back and forth in a living archaeological ruin. Compared to the previous game, you no longer have a sidekick, so it's up to you to brave the treacherous path ahead and take down the horrors plaguing this underground network. Unlock new weapons, abilities, and make it to the heart of this mysterious world. It has a play score of 8.07. Number 4, Guacamole 2. Your luchador skills are needed once again in the sequel to Drinkbox Studios' action Metroidvania game. Uppercut your way to victory with the game's new stunning handcrafted levels set in a colorful Mexican world. Power up your hero and seamlessly weave across the vibrant Mexican playground. This latest entry offers a bigger map bustling with secrets, new upgrade system, and a four-player co-op mode to enjoy with your friends. It has a play score of 8.62. At our top 3, The Messenger. A retro adventure from Sabotage, this tale of Ninja Gaiden meets Back to the Future lets you play as a skilled ninja and you slice and dice your way through enemies all around time itself. Set in a cursed world, delivery scroll to secure the survival of your clan. Powered by a trippy pixel art style, jump, slide, and run your way through various locations. Defeat bosses, villains, and other associates that stop you on your path. And don't forget, Deliver the message. It receives a play score of 8.71. Number 2, Unavowed. This point-and-click indie adventure from Wadget Eye Games is rich with story and gripping with mystery. Set in New York, lift a demonic curse that turns you into a bloodthirsty monster by joining an underground cult called the Unavowed. Choose from either a female or male protagonist and make your choices matter. As a character living in isolation, prevent as much damage as possible. The game has branching storylines, so every playthrough is different. It has a play score of 8.74. And of course, the best PC indie game is none other than Dead Cells. Motion Twins' slick and stylish Rogalite Metroidvania adventure tops our list. Explore a procedurally generated castle filled with monsters and creepy crawlies. As a brave warrior, make your way past through a myriad of obstacles and puzzles in a fast-paced motion. Perhaps the best thing about this game is its endless replayability. You literally can't die. After every death, you go back again and again to improve your chances of survival. Take down big baddies, unlock weapons, and special powers to lessen the rage quits every now and then. It has a play score of 9.02. So guys, those were the top 15 PC indie games of the last three months. Tell us what you think about this video by heading over to our comment section. Remember, all you really have to do is like, share, and subscribe to our channel to become certified what to players Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Wow.